Welcome to our channel. This is our second video about a fossil collection from Ukraine. In the first part, we showed plant imprints from coal mines, well-preserved specimens representing flora of the Carboniferous period. I should say, those are typical examples, but if you were to visit a coal mining town and ask around, folks may tell you stories about finding cool stuff like insects or little animals. We also discussed marine fossils from Jurassic slash Cretaceous period. Huge belemnites, shark teeth, and crinoids were among them. It is now time to take a look at fossils from the southern part of Ukraine, namely Crimean Peninsula. These yellow disks are the shells of a single-celled marine organism, a protozoan called foraminifera. Amazing! A cell larger than a quarter! This kind of fossils are known as namulites. The word numulus means little coin in Latin, and they indeed look like ancient coins, especially if you see them scattered on the ground. Such fossils occur regularly in limestone of Mediterranean region and quite abandoned in stone blocks used to build pyramids of Egypt. By the way, limestone blocks represent a common building material for houses in the southern regions of Ukraine. This particular limestone is light, easy to work with, and provides good insulation. The Black Sea coast has places where the material was carved out of underground deposits and a labyrinth of artificial caves or tunnels was created. Underneath the top layers, a numulite has a hidden coil divided in small chambers. These chambers and complex geometry are precisely the reason why single-celled organisms were able to reach such a size and get around the problem with diffusion that puts restraints on the volume to surface ratio. Numulites were protists, they grew their bodies in spiral fashion by adding the chambers. Each of these chambers has tiny pores used to connect cytoplasm of the entire animal in one continuum. Chambers from certain areas are involved in performing specific functions. Peripheral chambers, for instance, are believed to be responsible for digestion. On the sides of the discs, you can notice larger holes that were used to protrude the reticulopodia for movement in catching food. By the way, these particular numulites were taken from a broken and abandoned building block in a forest near a summer palace of the Russian emperor, and the material may have been delivered from another place. Let's move on. We have other curious finds. It's a bunch of fossils found on the south coast of Crimea, a land with turbulent and colorful history with ruins of Greek and Roman settlements, a backyard of the Byzantine Empire. But today, we are focused on much more distant past. This is a well-preserved plate from an echinoid or a sea urchin. It has a classic pentagonal shape. A spine was attached in the middle of the plate. And this is a proximal part of the spine. In anatomy, proximal means the one that is closer to the center of a body. A circle of little bumps at the end is named acetabulum, and the narrow section in the middle is called a neck of the spine. This pointy piece is another fragment of a sea urchin spine. And this is a fragment of a sea lily stem. Fossil collectors usually call them crinoids. This particular one has a cross section in the form of a star. A black belemnite. The color is kind of unusual. This one was split in half, and you can see concentric pattern similar to the growth rings of a tree, meaning that the rostrum was formed with variable speed in some sort of cycles. 
More light or gray layers consist of calcite, while darker layers originally had more organic material. I wonder what the growth cycles were tuned to. Seasonal food availability, reproductive periods, or temperature variations. When we look at it under the microscope, we saw that the bands are tiny and numerous, about 100 of them. It's unlikely it took 100 seasons for a squid to grow only this large. So my guess is that the layers were formed on a daily basis. This tiny ball was a sponge many millions of years ago. Fossilized sponges can be recognized by round spherical shape with a hole. Here are a few types of crinoid stems. This fragment has its internal architecture preserved and lots of holes, which could have been drilled by either a parasite or a scavenger. A few pieces of a colonial coral from the same place, which is a beach on the southern coast of Crimea. Just imagine, if these fossils would not be picked up by a collector 30 years ago, they would definitely disintegrate by now. The life of a fossil exposed to the elements is relatively short. This is another reason I believe that surface search is better than digging. Precisely because this way, you are actually saving a fossil from complete disappearance. Thanks for watching! Do not forget to watch more natural curiosities on our channel. Please subscribe to keep in touch, leave a comment if you have extra information, and good luck in finding exciting fossils on your field trips.